Sunday, so it's when I usually do my aquaponics update. And I got a really, really cute little commentator here, so if you hear her in the background, yeah, that's what's going on. So, uh, tank's doing well. One of the nice things about uh, aquaponics is today was the first time I cleaned the glass, the algae off the glass, and well, since I started. And it wasn't even bad, it was just a little bit of hazy. It wasn't that green film that I usually get. So, that's a, a, a good side effect of uh, growing your salads out of your aquarium. So, the uh, bell siphon seems to be running well. Um, the lettuce, as you can see, it's pretty big. I've actually uh, harvested twice off of it. I just pick off uh, the bottom big pieces and uh, throw it in a salad, a little ranch dressing, and eat it up. Um, started a, my mom had a, a, some brown pots, so start filming that. I'm doing something a little bit different with this one. I actually added a little uh, crushed sea, uh, seashells, which is a uh, calcium carbonate, which uh, when the pH of the water gets low, it releases calcium carbonate in the water, and that brings the pH back up to uh, 7.2. So that'll hold the, uh, it'll buffer the water to 7.2 for me. Um, see what else we got going on in here. My African Violet hasn't died yet, so I'm thinking he's probably uh, rooting. My uh, Basil is finally taking off, so I'll have Basil pretty soon. Um, so yeah, you see I got New growth on the lattices. Um, these are deeper. They're actually uh, um, roots are growing out of the uh, out of the holes I drilled in, in these, and is actually going into the grow bed, which is interesting. So playing with that um, in the process of adding more pots. So I've got this one ready to go. Um, these they want about a buck fifty a piece at the hydroponics store. These you know I could buy at the local gas station for a dollar and and drive much enjoyment from them. Just go in and just drill a bunch of holes in the bottom. Um, my dad bought me a bag of pea stone. Um, this bag was a dollar ninety-eight. Um, the aquarium gravel, which is what I was using because it's what I had. I bought this at a Walmart. They want three fifty-eight or something like that for this little bag. Two dollars for this big bag. So this needs to be should be washed. I'm not washing it. Um, got some activated carbon that I add to it and then my uh, my seashells um, for my calcium calcium carbonate I uh, added this add this to my um, the canister filters um, and I'm trying something a little bit different I thought uh, I might need some iron and uh, the only iron I have uh, handy at the moment are um, screws. So instead of the galvanized screws, I grabbed these black ones, and this is just a solution of uh, vinegar and uh, table salt. And it's pulling the uh, the black finish off the screws, and then I'm going to throw these into the um, rocks, and that'll, uh, I'm hoping, the iron with the Proximity to the uh, activated carbon and stuff like that, and the roots being able to touch it directly, I should be able to um, pull enough iron out of it. You know, they'll rust up and and all that. So maybe I'll uh, um, be able to get uh, the iron that I need without having to dose with my iron. Um, I found my bio balls, which cat loves, 
They make fun, fun kitty toys. Yeah, make fun kitty toys. So, he was playing with those. I've already lost two or three to the cat already today. So, but that's uh, where I'm at with this. Um, Stevia is growing pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to take more cuttings off of this one. Cut this one down and uh, add more cuttings today. My uh, garlic doesn't seem to be working too well out of the dirt. Um, the rest of my plants look nice and happy. So I'm going to uh, cut these down use those for props for these white pots. The white pots will sit into the, the one liter bottles and then I have more more white pots for uh, rooting and I'll maybe try putting the planter in one of those or something. So the uh, Oscar's getting big. He's, uh, he's happy. He's now bigger than the uh, Jack Dempsey and said he wasn't going to let that little Jack Dempsey push him around anymore. So she's back to hiding. Um, it's been nice the last uh, month. She's been out because they've been uh, the same size, so they've been bullying each other back and forth. And, well, now he, he wins every time, so she's, uh, she's back to hiding in her cave. But, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at this week. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll sign on a house, which means I get to move all of this, which is going to be fun. Um, one of the parts of moving it is I'm trying to convince my better half that the 110-gallon uh, tank, this is only a 75, needs to go in the new living room. And uh, that's an interesting uh, Interesting discussion. I think I've got it. So uh, this one's going to go where we think we want it when we move. So this one will get set up in the living room, and then the, uh, I have to build a uh, custom stand and top designed with the uh, aquaponics in mind with the, a light hood because it's going to be almost like an island in the uh, in the living room next to the stairs going up and. Uh, build that to uh, match the house so it looks nice where it belongs and uh, then I get to move this again and then this would go downstairs into the basement and uh, it should be fun but uh, yeah I'm excited my uh, plants are growing well uh, the lettuce has a little bit of a aftertaste to it I'm not sure what that's about yet I gotta do some reading and see what people are saying, and I'm hoping uh, um, adding some of these uh, the nails and the, uh, the screws and the um, seashells and stuff like that will give the uh, plants a little bit more of the, the minerals that they need, and uh, that it will be all good. So that's where I'm at. The uh, fish tank is happy the fish are happy nice and clean plants are happy the baby's happy the cat's happy I'm happy everybody's happy